New Zealand, the defending champions, or the defending winners of the last under-23 competition, which incidentally was held in Fiji. So the former hosts and the defending champions underway. And we are underway at Go Media Stadium, Mount Smart. There's a big figure there. It's a great first touch. And here's the first strike. And it is into the hands of Scott Morris. Well, here's Louis Toomey. Well, a shot on the turn. Must he was here yeah, with a strong hand. The ball's still not cleared. And here's the first chance over the top. Really hear the rain coming through our effects mics at ground level. Liam Gillian with a great touch. Here's George Ott with a chance. And straight at Mustaib. Well, two big chances in a matter of moments. It's Lobo with the corner. Ops to go short to Ibinge. Here's his delivery in. And uh, George Ott again, I think it was, with a glancing header. Yeah, another good set piece uh, move there from New Zealand, straight from the training ground. And again, George Art in there attacking the ball as always, as all the strikers do. Here's a bingo in the number 10 for today. Here's Liam Gillian. Yeah, he does well there. Draws a foul, does Liam Gillian. He's got great feet, Henry, the Auckland City attacker. We'll wait and see what it has in store. Here is Randall, and he does go for goal! Off the pole, oh, off the upright there. More exciting than the ones that go in the back of the net, and that certainly was one that caused my voice to rise a few decibels. Here is that man, Randall. Just a little bit of confusion in the Fijian penalty area. Two players getting themselves in a tangle. And that was Yanda there, just charging in. That's a second foul on Gillian. A crowd of players inside the six-yard box here. And one unmarked on the far side. I think it's Campbell Strong. Nambinu, it looks like, just keeping an eye on that. Yeah, Go short, and it's chipped in, and that's in the back of the net. Well, it's Louis Toomey, whose shot was heading towards the goal. I wonder if a Fijian defender just got a touch on that before it crossed the line. Either way, it's in the back of the net, Henry. Another set-piece move there, um, straight from the training ground, that. Yeah, good move. It was, it was going, I think it was in, probably a touch from the Fiji um, defender or a player there. You made the point, Henry. You have to stay concentrated inside your 18-yard box, and you can't afford to give too many set-piece opportunities away, regardless of who you're playing. As Zach Zorizic bursts forward on the right for New Zealand. Looks to find, and it's gone through the legs. Well, that's George Ott. Well, it pinballed inside the Fijian six-yard box. And George Ott found himself a few yards out with just the goalkeeper to beat. Yeah, and again, I think um, lap of concentration we just talked about. Free runner, cut back, and again, even the rebound coming off, they just stand and watch as George Ott just turns and just plays it through the keeper's feet. The calendar of football with the OFC Futsal Nations Cup back here in Tamaki Makoto. Great little reverse pass there. And a last ditch challenge and Akwai points to the penalty spot. And it was a great pass and a burst into the area. I think it was Randall himself who was fouled. And he gets up to take this penalty. And Mustaib with a save. Well, he's done well, the goalkeeper. Well, it looks as though the assistant referee has flagged him for going early. As we go again, start a step, and this time Randall makes no mistake. Mustaib went the right way, and it's in the back of the net. And that is New Zealand 3, Fiji 0. Henry, 25 minutes played. This isn't what the Fijians would have foreseen coming when they lined up at uh, Go Media Mount Smart Stadium just under half an hour ago. 
Yes, yeah, same as I don't think um, you know Fiji would, would like to be at the end of um, the scoreline at 25 minutes. And um, but all credit to um, New Zealand with a good break there. No, I agree. I think um, that Fiji has to go up a bit a notch. Probably that's what they need to do now. I think um, they sit back too much. Um, you know, New Zealand will be comfortable playing out from the back. Well, Ott just loses his footing there, and he was almost in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And that one, it's not too far wide. And away there to Lobo. He in turn finds Randall back to Lobo. It's a bingo and a bit of space inside the Fijian 18 yard. His shot is deflected for a corner. Now yeah, Bingo with the delivery in to the six yard box. It's headed clear by Vasconcelos. And again, Fiji unable to clear. Putting themselves back under pressure. Gillian that time with a recovery for New Zealand. And a delightful ball from Campbell Strong. It's George Ott. And he elects to try and play it over the top of Mustaid. Well, the New Zealand attackers are just finding pockets of space in behind the Fijian defend defensive line. And a foul there. Shoulder to shoulder, says Willem Abingay. I don't think so. Ben says Ben are quiet. And uh, they make their way up the field and free kicks at the moment are Fiji. And they just get this one going again. There's going to be a shot from distance and a great save. Well, a shot from well over 20 yards from Aparosa Yanda. And only three shirts, three white shirts in the New Zealand penalty area. See what they can conjure up with. It's the delivery in, looking for the head of the skipper. Here's the new man. And he gets a good connection. Does a tick. Now it's Vasconcelos, the New Zealand player down in back play, but for now it's with Nabil Beg, who beats Lobo into the New Zealand penalty area. And just a deflection there, and Morris had to have his wits about him. Had gone out for a goal kick. The goalkeeper of Christchurch United was up to the task. Christchurch United will actually play in the New Zealand Chatham Cup final next weekend. And a chance, and it's a goal. Aparosa Yanda didn't need a second invitation to slot past Scott Morris. Well, we were saying that Fiji needed to strike early, Henry, and they've done so. Yeah, and again, there was good persistence there from Fiji. Yeah, they just keep going. A bit of lacklustre um, performance there from New Zealand there. But again, you can't take anything from that. That finish, that was a great finish as well. Mohamed Rahim was trying to link up with Nabil Beg there. Teak fills in. Here's Jesse Randall for New Zealand. Shot from distance, skids off the surface. But uh, only as far as Aiden Mustahib. Looks like uh, Keegan Kelly and Oscar Van Hattem are getting ready to come in to this match. Keegan Kelly from a local club here in Auckland, Western Springs. Oscar Van Hattem with the Wellington Phoenix as Gillian hooks this one back in and Randall acrobatically. Oh, Mustahib. Just wasn't able to get that at the first grab and it scrambled away from a corner, but an acrobatic effort. Eight teams progressing in that. Ryan Raj has just given position away there, and here is Thomas Dunn bearing down. He elects to shoot, and it doesn't threaten the New Zealand goal. Oscar Van Hattem. Great ball over the top for Jesse Randall. Well, you mentioned it earlier, Henry. He does like to cut inside and get that strike away with his right foot. Oh, carelessly given away by McMullen there. To Randall. Finds a Bingay. Fiji in a bit of trouble here. Oh, delightful skill from a Bingay. Well, it's a block there. Delight for like substitution with Suliano Dolly coming in, number 
Joe Lee has kids on the outside. Oh, he scooped it inside. Well, Keegan Kelly, it was clever work from Joe Lee. Just wriggling down the byline. It bobbled up for Keegan Kelly. Four minutes have ticked over. And referee being at quiet calls. A conclusion to this one. It is a 3-1 victory for New Zealand. They have concluded their group stage matches with a 3-1 win over Fiji. A five-minute spell of goals in the first half.